because Jesus Christ died for us and we have accepted him into our life, comparison does not define us. What do I mean by comparison? That doesn't sound like a really like, like a, that doesn't sound like English. Uh, but I'm saying that you don't have to, because this is something that I've had to battle personally, you know, with my competitive mindset and always comparing myself to other people. You don't have to be better than anybody in order to feel good about who you are. Let me tell you this from somebody with years and years of experience in this realm. You do not have to be better than anybody to feel good about who you are. And if you continue on that road of comparing yourself to other people, whether it makes you feel better or whether it makes you feel less, the entire journey will never end. It is endless and it is pointless and it is vain. Even if you compare yourself to somebody and you look better than them or you feel better than them, at this point, there will be another person or there will be something that happens. And the next time you will lose and you will lose and you will lose. And it's a cycle. It's a cycle. Maybe sometimes you feel good about yourself. Other times you will feel most of the time you will feel bad about yourself. From somebody with experience, do not go down that route. It's vain. It's endless. And it's pointless. Romans chapter 12, verse 4 and 6. It says, for as we have many members in one body and all members have not the same office. So we being many are one body in Christ and every one members one of another, having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, whether prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith. And then it goes on to list whether you're ministering, minister with faith, whatever it might be. But the point of these two passages, these two verses that I read is that you have to understand that, you know, meanwhile, you are comparing yourself to other people, but we have each been given our gift according to the grace of God. There's a couple things that that means. That means that what are you what are you bragging about? You've received your gift because of the grace of God. And it also means that as we are if you have different members in one body, you have your fingers, you have your eye, you have your nose, you have your ears, you have your mouth. They serve different purposes. They serve different purposes. Why would an ear compare itself to a mouth? Why would a mouth compare itself to fingers? That makes no sense. And that's why it's endless. That's why it's pointless, because you are trying to compare different things with different jobs to to each other. You're comparing yourself to other people. When God did not, if God needed there to be two of you, <laughs> like God doesn't need there to be two of you. God created one of you. If you try to be like that person, that means that your spot is now empty. And you will fail at being that person. You want to bet how good would a finger be at being your eye? Take one of your eyes out and stick your finger in. It it just it just can't serve its purpose. It's just not this. You weren't built for that. And I don't mean to say that in a demeaning way. You literally were not built for that. You have your gifts. Ask God to reveal your gifts to you. Ask God to help you work according to his purpose and according to his plan and his gifts and also recognize and this is kind of something that well it kind of goes into the next passage that i wanted to read we have to recognize that yo it's not about you anyways stop trying to stop thinking that you have to feel good about yourself according to your gifts your gifts are to serve god the whole point in all of this is to serve god and glorify god not you period so relax comparison i also like feel like comparison we don't just compare when it comes to gifts and stuff like that but we compare literally with everything so i feel like this verse is more general in first corinthians chapter 4 verse 7 it says for who maketh thee to differ from one another and what hast thou that thou didst not receive now if thou didst receive it why dost thou glory as if thou hast not received it and, you know, forgive me if I'm coming off very aggressive right now, but a lot of these passages, a lot of these messages are things that are for me. And I feel like sometimes I want to stick it in my head like, hey, it's time for you to understand this stuff. That passage said that what do you have that you haven't received? And because you've received it, what what type of idiot would you be? To now brag about you having it. Everything that you have was given to you. Oh, but I work hard for this. A lot of people work hard. 
Are you the hardest working person in the entire world? I bet not. I bet. I bet. I bet not. A lot of people work hard in different ways. Everything you have, you have received. Therefore, what are you bragging about? You're not better than anybody. And everybody that everything that everybody else has, they have received, period. So why would you think that they're better than you? And why in the first place are you relying your worth on, you know, how you measure up to somebody else? Why in the world are you looking at what they have? Why in the world have you conformed to this idea that you must have this, this and this? Where is this measure coming from? Who gave you this measuring stick to say that this person is better than this person? Where'd you get that from? Because if it isn't from God. Then that means that you made it up or it's been taught to you and you think that certain things are better based on man's wisdom man's logic and if you want to operate in this world based on man wisdom and man logic there's only one place that that sends you death (laughs) 